Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to the final episode on this Canopy Assembly MacGyver deal that I have going on. As you know, that was the position Stella and, and Grace were in yesterday when we left. Now we're back out here today. Now the key today is to get the canopy in, get the anchors put in, and or I should say canopy on and the anchors in. And get this thing really secured. So the first thing I had to finish up on was trimming back this tree. Some of these branches were hanging pretty low. One afternoon thunderstorm would throw the branch right through the top of the canopy. And then having it out here would have just been kind of a waste of time. So I got up there first thing. Got all those branches cut off. Gave this a quick sweep. Yeah, I know. I need to resurface the top of this thing. But in the meantime, the majority of it is off of there. And now I can just go to fastening this canopy on. Now, I'll tell you the cool part about this carport canopy, canopy kit. It was only $115 at Harbor Freight. With the MacGyvering of the legs and the... Uh, heavy duty anchors, the screw in anchors that I purchased, the total price came to maybe just a little bit over two and a quarter, I want to say. It's really actually pretty economical when everything that I looked at to actually fit over the top of the Toyota was going to be $600 and up. So, with that being said, a little bit of uh, homesteading ingenuity, MacGyvering, whatever. Um, it is now tall enough to park the RV under. And the anchors are heavy duty enough that it should theoretically hold up. I would say, I would give it at least 70 mile an hour winds. So, hurricane force, a cat one. <laughs> No, I don't want to test it. <laughs> this was a, technically, it could have been done in one long day or two short days. I ended up doing this in three very short days, like three or four hours. Just because the heat was so high and with the humidity, the heat index was just like up there like no tomorrow. Plus, by the time I had gotten myself up moving, got out here to do what I needed to do, <laughs> yeah, I was on banker's hours. You'd think I was on vacation or something. <laughs> Alrighty, so this thing's pretty well wrapped up. The canopy is on. It fits great. Um, everything's nice and tight. The branches are all cut back away from it. So it's pretty well good to go as far as... Uh, shielding the toy. Okay, the kit came with this for on the legs, this for the rope tie downs. I opted to push the legs into the dirt and then use this that I purchased from Amazon for the tie downs. Now I even ended up changing the description on what I'm going to do to I'm going to spin this into the ground like they do with the metal carports. I'm going to get it all the way bottom down to the ground and then I'm going to drill a hole through that eye and through the leg and I'm going to nut, bolt, and washer that all in place. Yeah, the anchor actually came <laughs> with the, the actual to spin it in. Now, if I were like the big contractors that do the metal carports, they have a drill that puts those into the ground. But if you bought it this from is Amazon, the tool that came in those anchors too. You get the tool in the kit. It's a pretty good deal, a pretty good price. There was eight anchors. I only needed six, one for each leg. So it's kind of neat that I have two of them, just in case I later on find that I need to tie it down with a rope for some reason, I can actually go ahead and use the other two anchors. Simply drill through this. I don't have the bolt to go in here yet, 
So I'm just going to use these pegs for the other flat part. You just bend it over. Yeah, those were the just plastic pegs. because we're having our peg. afternoon thunderstorm coming in. Pins or whatever you want to call them. this thing. I didn't have the nuts and bolts and washers purchased, so I just opted to stick this through the hole. I'm going to whack it around like you would do with a cotter pin and call it good enough for right now. That easy. Now we've got a big storm moving in, so this is going to give this a good test tonight for sure. <laughs> Brave little rascal All I right. am, right? That's it. All right, so there you go. That's how I fastened all six legs into the ground. All right, with the storm moving in, I'm going to go ahead and get everything cleaned up. And then I will end this video with one more view to see how it held up to the stun thunderstorm that is supposed to come through today. Florida's afternoon thunderstorm is a building. And as you see, the next day it is still standing. We had like 50 mile an hour gusts with that storm. Alrighty then, I want to thank you all for stopping by. Have an absolutely wonderful and blessed day.